Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Thank you for joining me. Check it out. As you can see in front of you, I have another product from Ulanzi. Quick disclaimer. Ulanzi did send this to me free of charge for my evaluation. Guys, I'm going to let you know right now, I am biased. I'm going to be <laughs> totally honest with you. I've been using Ulanzi products for a while, and I do enjoy it. Here I have the Ulanzi GoPro case that I've been using for my GoPro. Absolutely love it. I have the Ulanzi U-Pad 3 received from Ulanzi. Absolutely love this, this brace. I also have the Ulanzi, I call the iPad Pro brace, braces, the first one I bought. Absolutely love it. All right. Now, I'll let you know, this one is an upgrade to this one. All right. So, if you're looking to buy for your mini and up for your iPad Pro, you got this one. This is uh, definitely a good look. All right. I'll put a link below of all these products down below in the description. Please consider using those links. Those links will be affiliate just to let you know because it does support this channel and I greatly appreciate it. So enough of, let, enough of that. Let's get into this case. I'm going to do an open boxing. We're going to get into it. I'm going to show you how the make of it. Guys, please consider like, subscribe. Of enough of me talking. Just let's get into the video. Let's go. So let's just get right into it. Again, I have here the Ulanzi Super Clamp Camera Clamp Mount. This is the RO94 serial number or model number. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to just open it up real quick. And with this one here, you guys, again, it's geared mostly to your GoPros. Here, to start it off, they give you a clamp for your GoPro. When I bought my GoPro, it came with this case here and had certain accessories already with it all right so you're just going to add this to what you already have all right you can never have too many clamps this is how it looks pretty basic plastic the extra ball head here just in case i guess if you lose this one very basic goes in like this all right so that's that's always a good look all right and but this is the main the main feature guys all right so let's open it up let's get rid of this now the first thing i wanted to say about this clamp is that it is small it is very small which is ideal all right when you're dealing with clamps sometimes you don't need a big bolted clamp to get the job done this one's made of aluminum very responsive just a, here it has a little this part here has a little rubber to protect on whatever you're locking down on. Very nice design. Very nice. Unscrew this here to get to rotation on the ball head so you can articulate band pretty much anywhere. And what I like about this one, all right, this is ideal for you. You on a bike, a motorbike, snowmobile, or just something. You just need something small just to cl clamp down your GoPro. This is ideal. Now I'm gonna show you the difference. I've been what I've been using before I even received this. I've been using my Mofoto clamp. Now, look at the big difference, <laughs> all right? In clamp, all right? Big difference, all right? This is again this serves purpose for your big DLSRs, what have you. I also use it for my iPhone because again, put it on a light stand, very sturdy. But again, this is overkill for what I need it for. All right, so if you just need something small, if you're holding big cameras with a big lens, this is this is what you need. All right, but if you're not even even close up needing something that that big, and again, the price difference between this and this is huge. All right, so I don't recommend again for a GoPro to have something this big, not unless you're going at. I, really, I don't see any reason to have this for a GoPro. All right, it's definitely overkill. So, but again, it's a tool. I have it. If I need something a little more robust, I do have it. All right. But this is ideal. This is going to pretty much replace this in certain situations. All right. And that's it. And I like the design. Again, just want to look at the, you can pretty much mount this to anything, anything. All right. It expands. Look at that, how far it expands out. So you pretty much can get around any type of pole, any type of handlebars just with this. 
all right this part here is plastic so if you want to replace this part that's easy to replace because it comes right off which most likely I probably will and that's pretty much it the only thing I might do to this and this is my GoPro here guys let me take it off I end up putting using the arc style clamp for this tripod which is I which I like so I might just put an arc style clamp here to make it easier to put this on but it's not needed again because this you can use the threads to take this off and let me see if I can do that for you real quick okay guys I just want to show it to you very easy to put on locks in very sturdy tightness definitely gives you a you're able to lock it in with a position well again what I like about this this clamp it just how small it is guys what I'm demonstrating I'm just putting it on the table and able to lock it in that's simple that is nice guys check that out all right and again if I need to loosen this I can position this camera any direction I want and it's already locked here so you lock it in your position here I can rotate it put it here lock it in very very nice design and what I like about this clamp but most of all, what I like about it is the size. When we're dealing with traveling to one place to another, you don't want to carry bulky equipment. All right, you really don't. And this clamp here compacts very easily for storage, especially if you have the GoPro case. What I like about it, again, by breaking it down, I'm loosening it, reducing that footprint, you pretty much can just throw it into your case. I have dividers in mine. So if I didn't want to divide this, I can remove it, but it will fit in your case. So all you have to do is just put it in and you're good to go. Type of case you need it, it's along with my other equipment. So this is definitely a good look guys. This is not a quick video. I just wanted to give you some eye candy, look at it, see if something you might be interested. Guys, and to tell you the truth, I'm looking at the website. This is a reasonable price. You get a extra clamp or mount plus the clamp for twenty dollars and if you're Amazon that's free shipping you cannot go wrong with this alright you cannot and it's definitely very nice and it's well built so again Yulanzi is my favorite company I'm not gonna lie I'm just gonna put it out there I am biased screw it <laughs> alright but if the company's doing right they got nice design products and it's pretty much affordable for a YouTuber, for a video blogger. Guys, this is hands down. Again, I'm in the same boat, trying to make your pennies stretch. Look at this clamp. You will not be disappointed. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, look at any of Yulanzi's products. All right. And if you look at their, their ratings, they're always pretty much hands down up there in the, the four stars, four and a half stars in quality. Okay guys, I just before I end this, I just want to show you another setup. I was playing with it. Again, it's all your imagination what you can use this clamp for. As you can see, I'm using it just to hold my iPhone. So this is a definitely excellent clamp. I gotta say for the size and the versatility for our small cameras, iPhone, GoPros, you know, small mirrorless cameras. This clamp will do wonders. And as you can see, I just clipped it on. Yulanzi tripod here so again if you want to get different shots angles you can do that all right if you have an extended recorder you need to lock down to your gear or to your rig you definitely can use this all right and again the versatility of it you can do anything with it you want to shoot in landscape or portrait you can do that all right so it's, it is what it is guys it's just it does what it does it holds your your gear into in place securely without worries all right so just be aware of the environment that you're shooting in all right if it's a violent environment well i mean violent i mean you're on a motorbike you're doing jumps or what have you of course you want to look for something a little more robust as in the clamp the whole certain items that's why I say stay with Yulanzi with the cage and everything so just be involved if it's a casual shooting this is fine all right and 
on your setup. So just be aware of your of your environment. That's what I say. But as far as this clamp, you're not going to go wrong. You can't go wrong with this, especially for 20 bucks. Come on. All right. They're pretty much giving it away. <laughs> All right. So just want to add that to the mix. If this was helpful, you know what to do. Check out those links below. So let me just keep it moving and check you out on the next one. Later.